Hey guys, and welcome to another one of these Dortmund Crimid episodes. And since the last episode, I've actually played a few games off camera just to move the series along a bit more. So can we move any closer to first place in the league? Let's find out. Okay, the first game of this round up is going to be an away game versus Hoffenheim. So a chance to move closer to first place Munich, but not for this man, because Kevin Volland goes straight past my two defenders and beats the goalkeeper quite easily, and Hoffenheim took an early lead. But midway through the second half, we actually get our own chance here. Castro finds Marco Royce. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. A poor clearance from the defender leads back to Castro. A fantastic finish past the goalkeeper, and we're right back in the game. And that's 1 1. Moving on now into the last 10 minutes of the game, and us being so poor in defense recently, we just let them go straight through, and again, they get another chance. And guess who it is? It's Vargas, the former QPR player, who's huffing on the 2 1 lead. And like, we just scored the goal, we worked so hard to get back in the game. But yet Hoffenheim do walk away with the 2-1 lead as our first loss of the season. But now back at home guys, it's time for the second game of this round up. It's now time for 8th place Dortmund and we're going to go into the second game, hopefully back on the winning streak. And we started off here really well as Mkhitaryan is able to really do well to hold off the defender which creates a lot of gaps in this on this left hand side uh, for Darmstadt. You can see uh, there's a great bit of passing here, back he goes into Piszczek, he finds a lot of space here, balls into the middle of Bamyang and a fantastic header past the goalkeeper. We've taken the early lead in this first half, let's hopefully keep hold of it this time. The game was in our control for most of the time and again Marco Royce and of course our striker Bamyang back in confidence just misses over the bar but you can see we're getting these chances and finally in the 70th minute another chance falls to us, Gundogan again protects the ball well and he finds McTerrell on his right hand side and it's an easy finish past the goalkeeper, that's game over and let's try and get a few more goals here because Darmstadt really were going for the game in the second half so that left so many gaps, another one of our new subs coming on now is Hoffman on the right hand side he's got too much pace, too much stamina has he got the finish? And yes, he does. We've got a three-goal lead. as a fantastic first home performance of the episode. And that completes a 3-0 demolition job of Darmstadt. And finally, now time for the third game. And it's against Charleroi, so I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But I do know they're probably the worst team out of the three or the four uh, teams in our group. And we don't get off to a good start. Again, it's a poor defensive mistake. A fantastic finish from the left winger. Gives Charleroi an early lead in the game. But we came back midway through the first half. And Gundogan, like, like Messi, going through the whole defence. He finds a bit of space. He must score, but he misses. This is a target. How did he miss that? He off the crossbar and I put too much power in it which led to the mistake and again in the second half grand so many chances. Marco Royce is going to step up for the first free kick of the episode. What's going to happen? Over the wall, past the goalkeeper and we're back on level terms. It's taken so long to finally score a free kick with Marco Royce but there is the first hopefully of many. And that was the last key highlight of a very frustrating game because we did dominate our opponents but, st but somehow did not get that second goal. So those results have now left us in sixth place and there's so many teams that will be going for the league this year that likes to shout Schalke, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Bayern Munich and of course Bayer Leverkusen and we are now in 6th place so we've also lost 2 games so far this season and um, before we get into this first game of today's episode if you guys could smash a like on the video uh, that would be absolutely incredible and there will be a vlog hopefully later on today if you guys could smash over 1000 likes on this episode uh, it's now time for the first game or the first live game of the episode of course Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena so like, imagine a good result here but if we don't get a good result here we are left a long way behind the likes of Schalke and Hoffenheim at the top of the table. Right, it's gone to Rafinha, it goes all the way back to Chabi Alonso. There's so many great midfielders, we left space for Lahm. Ball goes back into Lahm to shoot, but it's saved by Berkey. But already, the likes of Lahm, uh, Douglas Costa getting involved in the game. Right, Mkhitaryan on this outside here. And Royce making a great run. That's a good ball in as well, but he just didn't go for it. And Neuer came for it as well and didn't go for it, but what a chance that was. That's great play again. Abamyang free. Abamyang now in space. And Abamyang with the first goal. The first blood to Dortmund. We're one nil up at the Allianz Arena. Bayern have a lot of work to do now because look at this. Look how easy this was. And again, Martinez, I've outlined him being a weakness in that defence. And where is Boateng? Like, he should be the defender in that position. And it's an amazing finish there from top scorer Pierre Emerick Abamyang. Marco cuts inside and he can just run at them. Marco Rose to shoot. And he's taken out in the edge of the box. And that surely is a yellow card. But more importantly, in a great position. It is Royce who's going to strike this ball. So we're going to go with two bars of power. And it's just past the post. But if I put it just the right a bit more, that would have been a goal. That is a great ball. Gundogan has found Mkhitaryan. And the ball goes in. Kagwa now in so much space. And I rush a shot. I, should have, I had so much space. But where was the Bayern Munich defence? And somehow, at the end of the first half, we only won nil up. Like, yes, it was against Bayern Munich, but we had so many chances. I'd go as far as saying this has been our best performance of the season so far because we have dominated the game. Like, four good chances on goal. And Bayern Munich have had, like, one shot on targets. So it shows we've been dominant so far. Just trying to, like, 
uh, frustrate them by not letting them have the ball. Right, this is great play here. Gundogan. And now can you get one more? Nice Weigl now through. And saved by Neuer. But everyone's getting forward. Even Weigl, the CDM, getting forward. Right, we're going to go short here from the corner. Another ball out to Gundogan. Bit of space. He's just going to go inside. Gundogan to shoot. But blocked off. And here come the counter-attack of Costa. But again, we're doing well to defend. We keep the ball as well. Hummels on the ball. Now through to Bamiang. Goes back to Hummels in so much space. Hummels now to shoot. And it's off the post against his former team. We could have been 2-0 up again, but we just can't take the chance. Robin again on the ball here. And he's going to try and get a ball in the middle. Well defended away, but straight back to Robin. Vidal with the ball in. Müller not able to get there. Thiago, another lob ball. Just get the ball away. What is he doing? And taking him out. And it's going to be a penalty. I was trying to clear the ball away. PSG took too long to get the ball away. And Muller was too quick, and it's now a penalty and a red card. Why is that a red card? It wasn't like a goal scoring opportunity. And I can't believe that from so good, such a good position, we have now maybe screwed up our chance. Why did he take that touch? I never understand why I do that. But Muller now with a chance with a few minutes to go. Right inside, and it's saved by Berkey. A fantastic save, which has probably preserved our lead in this game. And they've just not been at it in this game. Now look at this. Poor penalty. We guess the right way. And Berkey is a hero. Neuer's up now for the corner though. And Bastu has just come on. Why do you want a defender in these last few minutes? And the ball comes in. Falls to Neuer. And somehow saved again. I, c I can't actually believe I'm seeing this. Why, why is that a penalty? Why is that a penalty? It's Neuer who nearly scored in the end. It's the second penalty in the space of our three or four minutes. And with a few minutes to go, the dying seconds. Neuer nearly scored, by the way. Again, as I fell over, it managed to bench Neuer on the floor. And I can't believe this. I thought we'd won this game. But again, we might have, lo we might have lost our, our three points here. Can we save this one? So we're going to go this time to the left-hand side. And he goes the same way in the final minute of the game. Thomas Müller has given Bayern Munich a point. They've been terrible this game. And they're lucky to even get a goal in this game. I actually can't believe that. Like, I can't believe how good we were in that game. We give away a red card, a yellow card as well in the final few minutes. But more importantly, two penalties. And we dominated the game. I'll show you the match stats at the end of the game. Because I just want to show you how good we were in this game. 56% uh, possession as well. Away from home. Like, it's incredible. And everything was good. Apart from our strike accuracy, which is only 42%. And I can't believe it came from two... Stupid penalties that were never penalties in the first place. Bit of training now for the same few players. And good news as Weigl is now up to 75 rated. So he started the season off, I think it's 72 or 73. So that's already a lot of growth. But it's now a chance to put that game behind us. And it's another away game, this time against Mines. And of course, we can get three points here and move closer to the teams above us. Oh, he's turned me so well. And they're through on goal. And they get the first goal. And it's Hummels again who's made the mistake. And another chance here. We miss a header. Ginter's not there first, and the ball goes over the bar, but this is shocking defending. Like, one game we're good defending and good attacking. The next game, as it looking at the moment, we're defending like League 2 players. Mkhitaryan inside, and he's still going. Two tackles come in. Can we get it off now to Kagwa? Great first touch. Kagwa now to shoot. It saves. Aubameyang there, but he won't shoot. Why is he not shooting? we still got the ball, though. Oh, it goes now to Kagwa again to turn. We just can't really find the space. Gundogan, maybe. Ah, uh, the ball's not good enough. Right, we made it to the end of the first half. It's now time for the second half. And we're going to make one change as we're going to take off Weigl and we're going to bring on Castro. So a bit more experience and hopefully uh, that'll be the difference in the second half. We started the game so poorly, but as the first half went on, we started to get a foothold in this game. And hopefully in the second half, we can get an early goal. Right, here we go. Chance now. Gundogan now through on goal. And we've got the equaliser. The early goal I needed has now been scored. It's Gundogan with a fantastic run through the midfield. And it's back all square. Gundogan getting forward here. Like, look at that for a run. Like, Aubameyang held the ball up. He dragged away the defenders. And Gundogan was just in like a flash. Mkhitaryan. Again into Aubameyang. He can get past. No, he can't. Mkhitaryan again on the ball, though. He's starting to really get some chances here. He goes back to Ginter. Can we find the ball back? Now to Castro, that's a poor ball. Like that is a, It's behind him. Can you just play it to his feet? Oh, look at this. The ball's... Th Why do you have to play it so hard? Well, oh, my God. What is a goalie doing? But for a second, I thought we had a chance. Might come back to bite me. They're not going for the cross. Now they are. And it's well defended by Socrates. The volley comes in straight to Smeltzer. And that could be the final chance of the game. And I think it will be. So there goes the full-time whistle. And I really needed to win that game. Like Because after that Bayern Munich game... We dominated for so long, yet we only got one point. This game, the first half, really didn't go our way. But the second half, we just 
We were dominating the game, we just weren't having good enough chances. But what I'm loving about this series is that every game is a challenge. Like with Arsenal, there's a few games when I thought I could just get away with simming or playing a weaker team. But with the Bundesliga, every game is important. So that is why uh, I'm enjoying the series so much. Right, let's try and get them now up to 78 rated. So Weigl's already had his growth for this episode, already gone up plus one. And yes, Derm has gone up now to 78, so a lot of growth going on. And Derm even getting involved in the first team now, so it's all good to see. We're now going to move on to game number three of today's episode, and it's now back in Europe. We're going to play against Ajax for the third game, I think, of the Europa League for this season. That is going to be the team I'm going with. I'm going to make one change quickly, as we're going to take our Schmelzer for Derm, because Derm has been fantastic, and now it's rated the same as Schmelzer, and like about 10 years younger as well. So in he comes in at left back. Early ball into the middle. Great header. And well saved there by Berkey, but imagine that, six minutes into the game and we could have been already 1-0 down. And we missed the tackle there. And the ball comes into the middle and somehow again Hummels is beaten. Well, I'm going to have to drop him for a few games just to get his confidence back because he is the main culprit of not defending well enough. I've lost it again and we missed the tackle and it's just over the bar. Again, I think that's Socrates I missed the tackle with and that should be 1-0 Ajax. I'm going to run a bit of space here. Good first touch, now Gundogan to shoot, and he gets the first goal, off first shot of the game, has led to the first goal of the game. Gundogan now a two in the last two, so that is a fantastic run, again through that defence, and again it's Aubameyang is like taking away a few of the defenders, and that's poor goalkeeping, but a great finish in the end from Gundogan. We find Royce again, can he cut inside, he can, pass the defender, it's Royce, but it's straight to the goalkeeper, but I think that goal has got... Like the team moving finally in this first half. So we're midway through the second half and we're actually going to change formation because so far in this game we're getting completely outplayed by Ajax and it's like something that's happened since around about the third or fourth game of the season. So now we're going to go back to a formation that really worked in my Arsenal series, the 4-2-3-1 formation with Aubameyang as a striker and let's even get any more success with this one because like so far, exactly like especially the possession stats have been completely in Ajax's favour. Chance here though, what's a poor tackle? Another chance, it's off the post, and we get the ball away. But my god, Ajax are coming close. Here goes Kagawa, that's a great ball into Aubameyang. He has a pace on Klaassen as well. Can he keep going? Aubameyang now to shoot, and it's off the post and in. Aubameyang with the goal, it's a fantastic finish, and we now have a two goal lead over Ajax. And there goes the full time whistle. So that is a 2 0 win versus Ajax. It probably flatters us a bit because we did not play well in that game, but we had the big chances, we put them away uh, thanks to the goal from Gundogan in the first half and Aubameyang towards the end of the second. So we finished today's episode off in sixth place. By Munich now in fifth place and Schalke a simple points ahead of us in first place. So we have a lot of work to do and I just can't wait to play them in that massive uh, rivalry, obviously the derby against Schalke, hopefully later on in the season. Uh, but that is going to be the end of today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, remember to smash a like on the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.